Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Amino Acid Studies Educational YouTube series. Today we are talking about essential amino acids. Um, we're, we're wondering whether you knew your basics, whether you actually knew what the essential amino acids are as opposed to non-essential or semi-essential amino acids. But um, it's definitely worth reading this and going over it and knowing your basics. Very quickly in this YouTube series, we'll talk about the main benefits of amino acids to your body, as well as several of the most popular amino acids and how, how you can um, consume them, again, what they do. It's a basically a big, great knowledge database of a natural of our, of our natural healthy friends that we know far too little about and that you have practically in every food. So back to the essential amino acids. They are called essential because the human body cannot manufacture them itself and therefore must receive them from food. The way to think about amino acids are as um, Lego pieces, building blocks that make up different types of proteins. Proteins are the major structures in our body, uh, except for, of course, uh, bones, let's say, but um, protein really makes up, uh, different types of protein makes up our, our connective tissue, hair and skin, um, muscle tissue, of course, the heart consists of protein, um, many um, neurotransmitters consist of proteins and ultimately they're built out of the little building blocks amino acids. Now the essential amino acids are the ones that you have to consume from food. There are many other amino acids that the body can create by itself, it can synthesize them by itself, but these eight ones you have to eat them and therefore you should make sure that you get enough of them in your diet. Now, um, to actually list them up, they are, and these are tongue breakers, phenylalanine, then we have the three famous, more or less infamous branch chain amino acids called valine, leucine and isoleucine, then we have lysine, threonine, tryptophan and finally methionine. Now I'll take each of these in turn, shouldn't take very long. Phenylalanine is actually quite well known um, in the uh, in, in 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 the in the scene in the people who are into nutrition and into fitness. Um, this is a very important building block for neurotransmitters and hormones, including noradrenaline, adrenaline, and their precursors L-dopa and finally thyroid hormones, which are responsible for the regulation of the metabolism. Okay, you can get these in poultry, beef, pork, and fish eggs, yogurt, and if you want to go vegetarian or vegan, look for soy products and a particular nuts and seeds, do your research. Now, the next three essential amino acids are valine, leucine, and isoleucine. Um, they tend to come packed in, in a triple of three. BCAA is extremely popular with uh, strength athletes or also endurance athletes, really any anybody who needs to have strong um, endurance, muscle tissue essentially, um, anybody also who wants to support their muscle repair. They are all directly involved in the skeletal muscle, um, they support the building of skeletal muscle and the repair uh, and recovery of skeletal muscle after uh, damage, which means uh, essentially strong exercise, which breaks down muscle fiber and the body then needs amino acids, particularly BCAAs are, are helpful in this to repair that broken muscle tissue. The most um, useful probably and most researched one is leucine. Um, it is the fourth most concentrated amino acids in muscle tissue. Um, so if you are a strength athlete or if you want to support your your skeletal muscle in any way as as one ages obviously muscle mass decreases leucine is a great one to supplement or to be honest just take a BCAA supplement uh, supplement as a whole if you're happy to do that moving swiftly on lysine is a great one because it helps in the immune system um, and um, it is uh, helpful in the formation of collagen and muscle tissue. Collagen is one of the main protein structures in skin and hair, so if you want to support 
healthy, good-looking skin and hair. Make sure you get lots of lysine. Uh, sources are fish, eggs, cheese, lima beans, and then if you are, want to go vegetarians, potatoes, uh, not red meat, milk, yeast, but soy products. 309 is very uh, useful for the central nervous system, cardiovascular system, immune function and liver function. Cardiovascular is a big one here because it is the number one killer, um, even bigger than cancer in the Western world above the age of 45. Uh, do check out also arginine, which is one of the other which is the other main amino acid which uh, helps in regulating uh, the cardiovascular system. Um, 309 can be sourced from meat, um, grains, dairy, leafy veggies and mushroom. Tryptophan is important because it makes you happy. It is the, um, it's the precursor of the important neurotransmitter serotonin. A neurotransmitter is a, um, is a transmitter uh, substance in your brain which your brain uses to, to signal different parts of your body what they're supposed to do. Serotonin simply makes you happy and uh, if you are unhappy this has many other uh, side effects including insomnia, depression, weight gain and uh, various other things we don't want to get into here. Tryptophan you can get in turkey, chicken, beef, fish and then if you want to go vegetarian, brown rice, peanuts and soy protein. Methionine is the last one of the eight. Like arginine is a sulfur containing amino acid. Arginine I've already mentioned because of the circulation. Um, it, it's used in the body to effectively process and remove fat. Now that may be very interesting to everybody who uh, wants to look pretty and healthy and attractive. So uh, because the body uses it to produce taurine and cysteine. Cysteine again is used to produce glutathione which is the most powerful uh, antioxidant the body produces itself. So um, make sure you get methionine. Cysteine is not listed here as an essential because it is, uh, I think it's non-essential actually. So the body can completely um, produce it by itself. So you can get methionine from meat, fi meat, fish, yogurt, eggs and so on. If you want to go a vegetarian, go, lent uh, go for lentils, garlic, seeds and soybeans. So I hope this has been helpful. If you like this video, please like it, share it, um, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to teach you lots of other stuff uh, f completely free about this lovely um, natural micronutrient group called amino acids. Again, they are the building blocks of life. So make sure you get lots of them. The more amino acids you get, the healthier you shall be and you shall be as your age. So um, hopefully see you in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.